What's up everyone and welcome to another Rust Pro Series video. I'm Niceish. Today we are talking about the trap base notification. I've been asked this question a couple of times now and I think it's time that we covered it. Uh, over here I've got a, a power bank set up uh, to power my example over there. If you're curious about how and why I'm doing this, I'll provide a link to that video. Uh, and then over here I've got a generic trap base set up. Uh, and if you're curious about how to apply this to an actual base, I will provide a link for that as well. Uh, so the question is, you know, here I've got this trap base set up. Somebody walks in, they get, you know, it gets triggered by a laser or a pressure plate or something, and they their player is killed, locked inside. How do I get notified that this has occurred? And so that's what we're going to do on this setup over here. The, the color codes of these two are exactly the same. I'm using industrial lights just for the purpose of this tutorial. It helps show you what side of the trap circuit we're on, uh, but you wouldn't do that so you can, you can subtract a volt from, from whatever you're doing to account for that. Uh, so here we go, just a quick recap of the memory cell. It has two outputs, an inverted output and an output, state zero, state one. Each output has an associated input and they're color coded to match. So the reset input over here is associated with the inverted output and the set input is associated with the output. If this receives a volt, it sets this to this output here. If this receives a volt, it sets it to this output. Pretty simple. And so that's the that's the reason we use this for a trap base. And so the, what side of this would you want your notifications to be? It's gonna be on the side that's the trap side. So you don't want your notifications going off when the, the armed door is open and waiting for a player. You want it to go off when the trap goes off. And so we're gonna set our notifications to the output side of this. And so over here, I've got a splitter hooked to a smart alarm, a, a, an RF broadcaster, and then this, this door controller, just because you would have a door controller. Um, and so something to note, of course, the smart alarm does not work on servers that are set to hardcore because you can't have Rust Plus on a hardcore server. So you could just do a broadcaster, lights, alarms, whatever it is you wanna do, you'd have some output going to something. I'm gonna do the broadcaster because that's a, a common way to do it because um, you can link it to a pager. And so uh, this is just set to 456, the pager is set to 456. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just on the output side, so running to this industrial light, you would just go from this output straight to the splitter over there. I'm gonna run um, from this output side I'm gonna run from the pass through. I'm gonna jump this down over to this um, splitter over here. And there you go. And so all I have to do in this case is set up the amount of volts I need uh, from this, this branch over here and just count up what you got. We got one, the smart alarm is one, two, three, four, five in my case, you wouldn't have this. So I'm gonna set this to five and you don't need to set it to six to account for the memory cell because currently as of this video, it still does not use a volt. If they ever patch this, you'll have to also count up the, the use of the memory cell. But in this case, we don't. One, two, three, four, five, and we're good to go. So if I set this, if you know, this, this, uh, this side here sets the trap. And so there we go. The smart alarm is going off. The RF broadcaster is broadcasting. My pager is is going off, and the door controller or the door the door controller has is receiving a volt. So you should be getting one out of each of these if you've counted this up correctly. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So if I reset this, they all turn off because now we're on the inverted side and the output side is no longer powered. And that's all you have to do to get notified. And so I'm gonna set this same thing up on here so you can kind of see, uh, you know, a more Yep, like an actual live live version of this. And so I'm just gonna throw a couple of fun tables down and I'll put my smart alarm on one and my broadcaster on the other. And I'm gonna throw this splitter up here on the wall. All of this stuff, of course, would be hidden somewhere else normally. And I'm going to this time unhook the the uh, the, the the light because you won't have that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this back to its state zero. I'm gonna unhook this. I'm gonna unhook the door controller from the pass through on the industrial light to get this out of the circuit. And this will be a lot more appropriate to what you'll probably experience. And so uh, from this output, I'm just gonna run this up to the splitter like I did before out of the output side here. And then I'm gonna run each of these uh, outputs to something that I need powered. So in this case, I've got a door controller. I'm gonna run this one down to the uh, to the uh, RF broadcaster there. And then we'll run this final one uh, over to the smart alarm over here. There we go. And then you can set your smart alarm to whatever you want. I'm gonna set this this broadcaster to four, five, six, so it matches my pager. 
And then all I have to do is count up everything I'm powering, including the switch after this output here on the memory cell and set my set my uh, my my branch switch to that to, to that value. So I've got one, two, three, four, just like before. Um, so I'm gonna do four, you know, because we're minus the uh, industrial light this time. And that's it. So if I if the trap is initiated, there we go. And that's, that's it. Now the, everything's broadcasting. Uh, the smart alarm's going off if you have Rust Plus. And once the trap is reset, they all shut off because they're no longer on the output side of your memory cell. And that, folks, is all you gotta do. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below. Otherwise, you can get me on my Discord. See you later.